the one thing that I'll say about my character that may be different uh, from yours is that he doesn't have a neck. This this guy was designed to be able to pop his head off and throw it and all kinds of different stuff. So I didn't want to have a neck getting in the way. Um, if you do have a neck, instead of doing the next step that I do, what you would do is you'd add another spine. And then now you have, you know, this is your head basically. And then those are your neck bones. And you'd position this to the to the base of your base of your head or base of your skull and then position it and go on your merry way like that. But I'm not doing that because I don't have a neck. So I'm gonna grab uh, this, this guy right here and I'm just gonna do add bone. And when you add a bone, you can see it just makes another small bone there. Sometimes it's hard to see, so you get a wireframe. Um, that's our guy. And this bone is uh, linked to this, uh, your rib cage bone. So whatever happens there, it's gonna get passed along. So I'm going to local. All right, so now this is this is my uh, my head. So because I want the head to rotate from about down here, I'm going to put that bone down there, and I'm and I'm not going to worry about uh, what it looks like right now because you'll see we're going to do something that that makes the head a little bit more meaningful looking. Um, so we got this base bone here down at at the base of his neck or where it would be. That's my head bone, and then I want another bone for his jaw that's connected to this bone. So I just add another bone. And so, um, you know, if I was to move my head, that would move this jawbone. Um, but in this case, I'm just going to take this guy and move it up here. Come here. Perfect. Okay. And they're in the middle. So to make this a little uh, less confusing, I'm just going to call this uh, teethy jawbone. I'm going to copy that prefix, go to the head, and call that head bone. I've been pretty slop about naming so far. I mean, that's where you, you do your naming. So be better than that at me than me. <laughs> Name things. Okay, so um, we're pretty much set with this guy. I could leave it the way it is, but these are kind of little wacky looking bone objects um, for the head. So what I'm going to do is show you a way of replacing those meshes uh, with something a little bit more meaningful for the bones. So what I'm going to do is just go in and use Max Tools um, and create a sphere and just drag it out like so. And then I'm gonna uh, right click on it, convert it to edit poly, go into face mode, kill it. Could have made a hemisphere as well. And then move it up to where his head is and position it where I want to see it. And this is just purely visual, like so. I'm also going to uh, make sure that that is zeroed out along the x-axis. as a homeless man that just spilled his bottles all over the street. So you'll be enjoying the soothing sounds of homeless person picking up bottles. Sorry, guy. Okay, here we go. Bomb jaw. And pretty good. I'm going to change this color. Something else. Okay. Now, uh, those are just meshes, and they're not really, they're just hanging out. And what I'm going to do is go to the, the bone objects in my cat system, and this is my head bone, so that's uh, this guy. And I'm gonna put an edit poly modifier on it. And then I'm going to use attach and attach this object to it. And so what I've done is, uh, you know, using Max's stack, you have the object, which is the cat bone object, and then after that, we have an edit poly modifier, which I've attached a mesh to. So, um, you know, as it moves through the chain, it basically, you know, has this mesh. So now, when I pick on this mesh, you'll notice its rotation is down at the base of the skull where it should be, like so. And then uh, I can also go in there and delete that this object if I want to, because I'm not actually deleting the object, I'm just deleting the mesh in Edit Poly. And then I'm going to grab this uh, Jawbone object and do the same thing. Pick the bone, put an Edit Poly modifier on it, do attach, attach that, waste the bone mesh, and then we're good to go. So now, you can see that by using Edit Poly and, and pasting some meshes on there, I made uh, you know custom bones, so whatever shape I want them to be. And in this case, in this character, the only case that I want to do that is the head, because everything else, you know, the box bones are fine for. Um, and then just to kind of show you again that you know how that works with the Edit Poly, because it kind of it can be confusing at first. Um, just bring out the best Max object I can think of, teapot. And I'll rotate it 90 degrees, and then. I'll put it on his head, and then I'll use this teapot as the bone for his head as well. 
I'll just go into him and edit poly and attach. And now we have a teapot for our head bone. So um, there you go. And I think we're going to roll with that. Now the teapot is going to make the skin envelope when we get to that part huge, but whatever, easy to fix. So at this point, what we have is the raw rig set up. And so what I'm going to do in this next video is do a quick skin and uh, show you the max skin modifier. It's pretty simple. Um, we'll do a quick skin on them and then we'll move on to the cat motion and then we'll move on to Unreal. So we'll be back.